Hi guys, I hope you all are doing well and welcome to Office 365 Concepts. If you're watching this series from the beginning, we have discussed what is Microsoft Intune, what are the features and benefits provided by Microsoft Intune. We talked about Intune architecture. We discussed what is MDM and MAM. We talked about license requirements for using Microsoft Intune. We discussed each and every option within Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. We learned how to prepare your tenant for device enrollment. We discussed what is device limit restriction and how to configure device platform restrictions. We configured device categories. We configured terms and conditions. We talked about different types of enrollment methods for Windows devices. And we talked about compliance policies and configuration policies. In this particular session, we will set up automatic device enrollment for Windows devices. We will discuss what is automatic device enrollment and how to enable automatic device enrollment for Windows devices in Microsoft Intune. Automatic enrollment lets users to enroll their Windows devices in Microsoft Intune. To enroll devices, Users add their Azure AD account to their personally owned devices or the corporate owned devices. And in the background, these devices are registered or joined to Azure Active Directory and are managed with Intune. To set up automatic device enrollment, you will go to Microsoft Endpoint Manager. You will go to Devices, go to Windows, Windows Enrollment, and then click Automatic Enrollment. You can manage these settings from Azure AD portal as well. Go to portal.azure.com. Open Azure Active Directory. Scroll these options down and click Mobility, MDM and MAM. Click Microsoft Intune. And you can see the same options here that you can see in Microsoft Endpoint Manager. Under MDM User Scope, you can configure if you want to enable automatic enrollment for some of the users, like a group of users, or for all the users of your tenant. If you select none, that means automatic enrollment will be disabled for all the users. Your users will not be able to enroll their devices to Microsoft Intune. If you want to enable device enrollment for some of the users, like a group of users, you will select some, and then you need to select a group. It will be a security group. You can create a security group, add users within that security group, and add that security group here. So this way you can enable automatic enrollment for a set of users. And if you want to enable automatic enrollment for all the users of your tenant, you can click all and then click save. Now under MAM user scope, make sure this is disabled for now and click save. I want to enable automatic enrollment for all the users of my tenant, so I selected all and I clicked save. And make sure you do not make any change within these URLs. No changes are required here. Just configure if you want to enable it for set of users or for all, or if you do not want to enable it, and then click save. Now after this, you need to add CNAME record for your domain that you are using in your Azure AD tenant. This CNAME record will redirect the enrollment request to Intune servers. If you do not publish CNAME record for your domain, when users will try to enroll their devices, they will be prompted to enter Intune server details manually. So to simplify the enrollment process, you need to add CNAME record for your custom domain. So let me log in to domain provider portal. So once you are logged in to domain provider portal, go to DNS records for the domain. Under DNS records, you need to create two CNAME records. So the type of the DNS record will be CNAME. Value will be this. I will share these records in comment section. You can refer them and name will be this and the value is this one ttl will be one hour 
and click add click save and let's add one more c name name will be this this is the value one hour ttl add record and click save so that's it we have added two cname records now let's go back to endpoint manager and go to devices windows windows enrollment and click cname validation now here under domain you need to type the domain name that you are using in azure ad and for that domain you have added these two cname records so enter the domain name and then click test so it says cname for office 365 concepts.com is configured correctly in case you get an error here instead of configured correctly it throws any error so you can wait for a couple of minutes because sometimes dns records take time for the replication so you can check after a couple of minutes and it should pass so this is how you set up automatic device enrollment for windows devices now our users can start enrolling their devices with microsoft intune in the next video we will talk about self enroll method we will learn how to self enroll corporate owned windows 10 devices to microsoft intune so if you have learned something new from this particular video please write in comments and subscribe to the channel thank you guys thank you for your time take care